Now say you're a boxer, but train with the Wing Chun and the self-defense mindset. That punch comes, boom, I can duck and come back. But remember, when he goes and he swings, he's gonna throw another combo. Ah, we're back to the same world. So this is why I like to be sticky and feel what's happening. So I'm looking, yes, it's time to go again. Yes, it's time to hit. What's his other hand doing? Oh, it's time here, right? Get into your dirty street fighting. Ah, Mike Tyson is here. This one's for all the old guys out there that still want to bang with the young guns. Whenever I was boxing, it was always, he's throwing the punch, boom, I'm slipping out of the way. When I was a lot younger, I was able to take like huge and big steps. And then all of a sudden, I got a little older and now I'm not able to move as well as I used to. And it was right at the time when I found my Wing Chun that really, really changed everything. So if he's stepping with that punch, boom, I fire low. So I'm still using Taekwondo boxing basics here, right? Get off the line, find something. But now, okay, let's go into that Wing Chun world and let's explore what's really happening. So I go, I enter with my Pak Sao, Fox Sao hit. Okay, perfect world. I hit him, I'm golden, right? But what ends up happening is as I go to clear this out of the way, if he becomes defensive and he blocks, he blocks it. Okay, well now what do I do, right? In my boxing training, and I was like, well, I guess I cock back and throw a punch. But if I let go of this hand, his hand goes back to his face. We both throw the punch. Well, all of a sudden now the younger and faster guys started hitting me a little bit more. I was very lucky because I was tall, I'm 6'4", right? I always had the longer arms. There was many times where I'm hitting him, he's not hitting me, and I'm like, ha good thing I got you. But if they're a little faster and they're a little younger, it doesn't work so much. So instead, now I'm really focusing on, okay, what do I have here? I'm sticky. I have feeling, right? Wing Chun, they call it chi sao, sticky hands. But what I'm doing here is I'm starting to figure out, okay, there's other ways that I can hit them. Right, so let's go back. He's defensive, okay? Where he's defensive, my hand here is here. Bing, a hit, quick little hit, right? Is it gonna knock him out? No. You know how many years of Wing Chun training you're gonna have to take to be able to generate enough force and power to stop the fight there? That's just not gonna work. But it is going to hit him. And that's really gonna buy you a little bit more time so you can bang with those young guys if need be. So a quick little hit, if you choose to continue to use your Wing Chun, inside pot creates another hit, and then you chain punch away. No, you don't chain punch away because chain punching is weak. So from here, compared to that inside punch, you can go clinch, boom, straight into the headbutt, straight into the elbow, lots of different things. But let's go a little bit deeper down that Wing Chun path. He fires, I come here, and now his defensiveness is pushing over, right? Before, if I tried to punch him here and he went, oh shit, now it gets caught. And this is where a lot of people in the Wing Chun community, they say, well, you know what to do if you train Wing Chun, but a lot of people don't know because they don't train Wing Chun. So you have that feeling it's pushing this way. This hand here now has to come up and teach you how to hit with another one. But look what my hands are doing. From this, I come here. My hands are staying outside. They're in this trapping range. I'm not going back to my boxing just yet. When he fires, I get this feeling, my hands, what am I doing? I'm creating impact. So I smash him, boom, line him up for boxing. Perfect, now you're using your full range power. Watch what my hands do. I touch, trapping range, chapping range, contact made, boxing range. Now it's time to throw. But how much damage did that punch do? Now I'm starting to train with the Wing Chun self-defense mindset. And now I'm starting to train with like, hey, I don't have the speed I used to anymore. So when I come this way, I'm here and I go to hit. Well, what if he goes to throw the same punch? Ah, enter your Wing Chun mindset. He throws a punch, now I can clear it out of the way. Before I was like, ah, boxing, take a punch, give a punch, I'm gonna get him, he's before he gets me. In that moment I did, but what if I don't? I've made one hit, which is great. Maybe it goes to the eyes, who knows? But it's never gonna be a perfect punch. So when I'm here, if I'm patient, I see that punch come, boom, I can clear. Now say you're a boxer, but train with the Wing Chun or the self-defense mindset. That punch comes, boom, I can duck and come back. But remember, when he goes and he swings, he's gonna throw another combo. Ah, we're back to the same world. So this is why I like to be sticky and feel what's happening. So I'm looking, yes, it's time to go again. Yes, it's time to hit. What's his other hand doing? Oh, it's time here, right? Get into your dirty street fighting. Ah, Mike Tyson is here, right? 
But the whole idea why I love Wing Chun is it helps me train with a different mindset. Do all the same stuff you love. If your timing is good and you're young and you're fast, box the shit out of them. But if it's not, be a little smarter than that. Stay safe out there. Thanks for watching the video. You're obviously very dedicated towards your practice of self-defense, but there's only so much that you can learn from a quick couple minute videos. And this is why the Buddha brothers and I spent some serious time and effort and put together a very, very high quality product available on buddhabrothers.com. It covers all the ranges of martial arts and everything that you need to do in order to be better at your self-defense. But what it also does is it walks you through how to train it, how to train it by yourself, how to train it with a partner so that you're actually building the skills and the attributes needed for self-defense. Yes, watching the quick videos and the shorts can do a lot, but if you really want to take a deep dive and learn a lot about self-defense, this is why we made this course for you. So make sure you train your ass off. Stay safe.